So Facebook is switching around how custom tabs are created within a Facebook page. There used to be an application called Static FBML where you would basically use code and put it inside a Facebook application and it would be hosted on Facebook. All right? Now they're moving to a different approach called iframes which will pull in information from an external website. So let's take a quick look at these. First of all, here is a static FBML application, okay? And you know, we have a header, we have uh, text, links, and so forth, all right? Now let's take a look at an iframes application. If I click on 30 minutes, we come to this tab. So what's happening here is that inside here is the iframe application that actually is hosted on Inbound Zombie. So again, iframes is this technology that basically pulls in a chunk from an external website and displays it in your Facebook page. There are really three steps to creating an iframe application. The first thing is you have to create a web page. You have to create the, the application itself. Then the second step is to create a Facebook application for this custom tab. And then the third step is to add that application to your Facebook page. All right. First thing we need to do is create the application that we're going to pull into our Facebook page. The great thing about WordPress is that it can really almost do anything. I'm using a uh, plugin called Facebook Tab Manager. I'm going to add a new Facebook tab. Okay. What this does is it creates a special type of post that is formatted so that it will fit right into a Facebook page. And what we're going to do is we're going to go back over to Inbound Zombie and we're going to grab the HTML out of that and just throw it into that Facebook tab just for grab this code right here and we go into HTML mode we paste it and and I'll just call this about all right now if we scroll down a little bit lower we see a lot of information by the way the plugin homepage has you know a lot more details great comments there we're going to scroll down a little bit and it will give you instructions on how to install this in a Facebook application I'll just show you right now how to do it though all right so we're going to go to the developer uh, section of Facebook. So it's developers.facebook.com. You log in here, you create an account. I'm going to go to my applications and then it says set up a new app. So I'll click on set up a new app and I want to name this app. I'll say inbound zombie about. All right. You have to agree to the terms, create app, we have to guess this little capture thing, which is a pain. Uh, basic information, the application name is about, description, don't need to worry about that. Icon and logo, we'll get to those in just a few minutes. We just save the changes for now, okay? It's gonna create the application. Now, we're gonna go back to edit settings because I wanna show you the important part of this process. You wanna click on Facebook integration. So for Canvas URL, the URL that we want to use is this. I'm going to click back over to my custom tab that I just made in WordPress, okay? And I want to grab this URL right here. I'm going to copy that. I'm going to paste it right here. Canvas URL, it's going to be pasted right here. I'm going to say Canvas, Canvas type, iframe, iframe size, auto resize. And then if we scroll down a little bit further, we have one more piece of information we need to put in here. That information is right here. And it actually will show you. Put it right there. Click on Save Changes. All right. The last thing we're going to do is we are going to add an icon. Okay. The icon is that little tiny 16 by 16 pixel image that is on our left hand sidebar and I'll show you that right here so this image right here so you can just create your own image and then you're gonna pull that in alright so we're gonna click on browse okay so I have the icon right there I'm gonna click on save changes okay uh, the final step is that we want to add this to my Facebook page so we go to the application profile page 
we click on Add to My Page, it will open up a window with your Facebook page, or if you have several, it'll list several right here. And then you just simply click on Add to Page, and then you're done. I'm going to click on Close, and we will see Inbound Zombie About. And if we click on this tab, we see our custom tab, okay? pretty easy to create custom tabs this way. The real value here is that you can use a wide variety of HTML technology, JavaScript, video, all that stuff, all hosted on your website. And then the only thing you need to do is basically pull it into your Facebook page. And that is it. Mm -hmm.